Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. Standing outside my office in my parking lot and just had a hit and run, not in my car, thank goodness, not the Lambo, but my parents' Audi, which was parked right there. I forgot to take a video of it while I was here, but a guy from Sam's was trying to sell some stuff, Sam's Club. When he left, he backed right into my mom's car, pulled over here, and took off. So, let's gonna do a quick video. We have it all on surveillance, including his face, and he even left his name and number with us. So, not a real bright guy, but you can see right here, we've got cameras, cameras that caught it all, and you can see it right now. All right, back in the office, just wanna clear up a few things. You can see the guy hit my mom's car, drove off, didn't stop. We had a clear view of his face when we walked into our office to try and sell his stuff. It was from Sam's Club. We called the police, they came. They basically said it's private property, so we can't do much. Uh, maybe you should try calling the guy and getting his information. And then you can submit a police report on our website. So that wasn't hugely helpful, but the guy did stick around a little longer, the police officer. He ended up doing more than he said, and he then got the guy's private number. He tried calling him, he wouldn't answer. I called Sam's Club, talked to like four different people who kept putting me on hold. They said they would try calling him and call me back. They haven't called me back or done anything. So we don't know if the guy was drinking or not, but um, Carrie, who works at our front desk and talked to him, said he was acting kind of strange. So I guess it's up to us to hopefully get a hold of him and then talk to our insurance and file a police report. But it's pretty clear who he is and what happened and just crazy that I don't know. Seems like more should be done when someone is a deliberate hit and run caught on camera. We have the guy's license plate because there's a witness in the parking lot that saw it too. Um, but anyway, uh, at least he didn't hit the Lamborghini. Thank goodness. But he was a little stressful watching that video again, seeing how he's driving. So that's my crazy video for today. Hopefully we'll just have more real estate stuff and not as much drama um, from now on. Thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more coming up soon.